Good morning dear students. Today we are going to learn the poem The Wonderful Words written by Mary O'Neill. Can we imagine a world without language? All humans speak at least one language. The words we speak bring out our thoughts. This poem is all about the role and importance of language and language skills to shape the ideas of the mind. So let us read the poem and understand what Mary O'Neill wants to share with us. The wonderful words. Never let a thought shrivel and die for a want of way to say it. For English is a wonderful game and all of you can play it. Here the poet says that we should never let any idea or thoughts die within our mind or in other words never let it go without giving expression the poet says that english is a wonderful game which means it is an enriched language which is full of treasures the poet also says that we all can play this game which means everyone can use it effectively and express the thoughts in our minds here we see some words they are shrivel wonderful and game shrivel means to wither shrink wrinkle and contract wonderful means extremely good marvelous inspiring delight the word game is used here for enriched language all that you do is to match the words to the brightest thoughts in your head so that they come out clear and true and handsomely groomed and fair for many of the loveliest things have never yet been said here the poet says that all of us have to find perfect words for the thoughts or ideas in our heads and give it clear expression so that people can understand it clearly and nicely don't think that you can't do it there are yet many good things the most beautiful ones which have not been said because of lack of nurturing lack of good words and knowledge here we find some words they are handsomely groomed and fed and play handsomely means elegant style attractive manner and groomed and fed means nurtured and the word play here means use words are the food and dress of thought they give it its body and swing and everyone's longing today to hear some fresh and beautiful thing but only words can free a thought from its prison behind your eyes maybe your mind is holding now a marvelous new surprise Here the poet says that words give structure to the ideas or thoughts in our minds. Words are the food and dress of thought. The poet says that today everyone is longing to hear something fresh and beautiful and we should never think that we do not have any idea they are yet to be explored and searched. According to her the thoughts and ideas are caged in our minds. and only words can free a thought from its prison words alone can give clear and beautiful expressions and earn praise for the marvelous new ideas which our mind holds now here the word marvelous means amazing so dear students it is essential for us to express our thoughts and ideas through language for that it is must that we should learn and perfect our language here the poem is complete hope all of you have understood thank you